Good morning, everyone. We are going antique shopping today. You and me, we're gonna go out and look and see what we can find. I'm working on a fun little project coming up soon, so I need to shop for some things for that. Just some kind of European farmhouse rustic vibes for that. And then, of course, always looking for artwork. I'm looking for some vintage frames. So I've been looking for some mini, like ornate gold vintage frames so that I could eventually do a oil painting drop when I shared that I oil paint some of you had asked if I would ever sell them so I thought eventually I want to do a drop and I wanted to do it sooner than what it's already gonna be so far but I'm having a really hard time finding little mini frames I can't even believe it basically that's kind of what I'm after and then anything special of course I am really trying to go antique shopping with an open mind these days and just looking for things I really think there's two ways to antique shop one I think you could be really specific and that really helps you from buying you know trinkets and just little things it really helps you kind of stay focused and at looking for a certain thing and then there's of course the way that I think is a little bit easier a little bit more free and that's just going shopping and finding those treasures that you weren't even looking for so I'm kind of like after both I'm kind of looking for specific things but then I'm also kind of open-minded and just kind of going in just if I find something I find something so that's kind of what I'm doing I'm having a me day so I can really spend all the time that I want I really love to go antique shopping by myself because it allows me to spend as much or as little time as I want at each store it allows me to really think about the items and not feel you know the pressure to be in a hurry if I'm with friends or with my husband that's why I'm having a little me day I was planning on starting at the call it new call it antique they have the best prices around but they weren't open so I'm actually starting at the most expensive place and working my way back to the least expensive. I'm at Scottsdale Marketplace right now. They generally have, it's a little bit more pricey, but you can find some good prices here and some good things here as well. So I do like to go to all the different stores because you never know what you're going to find. And that's another thing about antiques. For me, it's not the more you antique shop the more you can kind of see the prices like oh i just got this for this or i saw it for this but also being open-minded to spending what it's worth to you so if something is maybe a little bit more expensive are you okay with spending that is it worth it for you so that's kind of a new mindset since i've noticed kind of the prices rising in the antique shopping world <laughs> so anyway i've chatted enough let's go shopping $95, but it looks so old. Look at that. Cute. This is such a beautiful lamp. And this piece here is so cool. Ooh, little mini boards. I love these. Ooh, that's actually a price. I feel like I'd be willing to pay $28.95. I might have to get that little piece. That's really cute for kitchen. I like that. I really like that. That's really cute. This little basket's really sweet too. $50. That's really cute. Ooh, and this table. This table's $4.95. That's really beautiful. This tree would be beautiful for a bar space. Look at those little feet. I love that. These are really pretty. I love these. 
$95, a little steep for me, but very beautiful. I still love this ice chest or ice bucket. It's $99. I just think it's so cool, but again, I just don't know if I want to spend that. These are really pretty. I'm super into little magnifying glasses lately. I just feel like they're really cute coffee table decor. I've gotten a couple off of Amazon. Oh, I kind of need some more of these. Yes. $24 for these limestone bowls. I love a good stack like this. Like I know I'm not selling them, but I love them. I just think they're so good. And actually, one of these might work for the project that I'm working on. So I'd probably try to find the biggest one, which I think is this bottom one. Ooh, and it's nice and flat, which is perfect for what I need it for. So I do think I'm going to get that. So good. And then put these back. I just got a smaller one like this. So... Even if I don't use it for the project, I mean, these are perfect for kitchen. Like if you want to put your garlic on them or, you know, really whatever. Ooh, they have some bigger ones over here. Wait a minute. About $45. Ooh. Honestly, this is less than what I've been seeing them online for. So that's good, but still a little steep. Ooh, they're pretty though. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, wait a minute. $195 for this huge pot actually is not a bad price. I've definitely have paid more for some of my bigger pots. That's actually really, really not a bad price. I love this. I love this table so much. I've been wanting one of those for so long. I just need to get one eventually. Oh my gosh, look at this lamp. Oh my gosh, it's huge. See if I can find a price. Oh, I think they're 500. Ooh. Oh, they're amazing though. I love those. Okay, so this says as is 149 hairline crack. Oh, is it this? It's a small crack right there. Hmm. See, sometimes you can find a good deal if something just has an imperfection, but you gotta inspect it because final sale, which is the case for most like antique stores in my in my experience. Also, these big wood bowls right here are perfect for fruit bowls in a kitchen, especially if you have a large kitchen. They're amazing. I keep coming back to these lamps. You guys, if we were in the house, I might splurge on these because it's really hard to find really big beautiful lamps especially jug lamps but also when i look online at like really nice you know lamps even the one in our bedroom i spent almost this on that lamp so honestly i feel like it's not that bad of a price for how big they are i mean they're huge they're massive they're probably double the size of the ones that's in our bedroom right now these are really cool. They're like the beautiful jars, but they have a candle holder on the inside. I like that. That's cool. And there's some smaller ones up here. How much is this? 102. 
the whole mushroom trend is like super in right now too what do you guys think about it seven dollars i actually think for a little like tablescape it's kind of cute i don't know about like in my everyday decor but on a tablescape i feel like it can be cute Sometimes it's nice to flip through books to see if there's something that you would want to add to your collection. So when they have them available and open to kind of look through, I like to do that to see if I... Ooh, look at this. That's really cute. I love that. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, I like this book. This is called... Workstead Interiors of Beauty and Necessity. This might be one I might need. Just do a quick, I like to do a quick flip too. See if anything catches my eye. This looks like a good book. Might need to add that one to my list. Hold on, I think I found a really good one. has plastic on it, but look at that cover. Wow. Le Grand Hotel. Look, this looks like it'd be a really good one. And it's beautiful. I love that. I'm gonna take a picture of that. What's this? The facades of Paris. Sweet. This is a great art book. Okay, this is beautiful. Wow, that's a really good one. A good one too. Okay, I think I'm finding some books that I like. All right, well, I think I'm buying this $35 for this art easel. It's silver, which I have been adding into my home, and I think it's a winner. It's different than the one I have, and it's $35. It's mine. Okay, maybe not. It's missing this piece right here, so this piece just slides so it. It would, this would have to be the bottom. So unless I'm okay with just moving the top and having the bottom of the art piece right here with more of the top being this rod, I don't know, I need to think about that. Maybe I'll bring some art over and put it on here and see if that would bother me. Okay, these wall hooks are amazing. I think in a certain spot, these could be so cool. I love those. This would be perfect for a little bar. It's beautiful. How amazing is that? Okay, I love this piece. It's a velvet mat with this gold frame. It's $75. It's an etching, so you guys know how much I love an etching. I just don't know if it's worth $75. It's really hard when you get things for way less expensive to come back and spend a little bit more, but I really do like this. I think it's very different than anything I have. Trove now and I spotted this picture. I haven't gotten close to it yet, 
I don't even know how much it is, but I thought that that was a nice kitchen photo. $24. I don't know what it is, but I like it. And it's more muted. You, you guys know I have that one piece in our kitchen right now that I have, I look at it all the time and I think this just doesn't really go. This one, $24. Oh, it's a print, which is okay. Hmm, we have to remember that one. That looks really good. You guys, I just bought the best little box. Okay, this is a good one too for my art supplies. I cannot wait to get home and show you. Oh, I'm so excited for that. I always love to go through art pieces like this because you can usually find them for a good, a pretty good price and then you just have to worry about getting them framed. But I do like to go through these because you can find some good etching and I find that a lot of antique stores will have some. This print right here, it's only $2, but it's of St. Mark's Cathedral in Venice, which Zach and I have actually been to. So I think I am going to get this and frame that. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. How pretty is that? $2? I also really like this bird cage. I think that that's really kind of fun. Don't have anywhere to put it, but $2, you guys. I've been getting so lucky with some of these prints. The framing is going to cost much more, but so pretty. This antique brass box is really pretty too. It's 160 Again, with the feet. I love anything with feet. I don't know why. It's a little rusty on the inside, but it's really, really beautiful. I really like that. Solid brass. It's actually, even the lid was just really heavy. Oh my gosh. This sculpture is so pretty too. Zach and I saw this at the Louvre. You guys, I am freaking out. I want this dresser. It's $195. It's gorgeous. Like it has shape to it. I even love like the hardware. I don't even know if I would change it. The keyholes, oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. The legs. The quality, I want it so bad. I don't have any, problem is, is I really don't have any room for it in our space right now. And then also, I don't have any way to get it home. So that's the problem. But oh my gosh, $195 for this piece is, in my opinion, just such a great price. I mean, you can't even get that at your big box stores. It's just so good and I love that it like curves. Oh, I don't know what to do. Just perfect. It's so beautiful. Even they have this piece up here on top and you can just like see the vision and the vibe. Oh my gosh, I want it. Did I ever tell you guys I kind of want a typewriter? I think it'd be really cool in an entry or even a guest house where your guests can leave you a little message behind. One that works, one that, you know, you can, oh my gosh, $39. I don't know if that works, but I think it'd be such a cool, unique little idea. Okay, this beaded little coin purse, 1940s, beaded bag, $12. Actually, I think this is so cute. I can't get it open one-handed, but that's really cute for like a little dinner party. Isn't that cute? Wow, times before cell phones, you definitely didn't need much. Just maybe enough room for your lipstick, and I don't know what you would put in here without a cell phone. <laughs> lipstick is really all I can think of. Wow, this big, huge mirror, ornate mirror, is $139. I actually think that's not bad for that. And I did notice some primitive stuff over here. This would be really pretty in like an art studio. You could have like different mason jars with your paintbrushes and things. That would be really, really nice to have. One day when I have an art room, 
I have been looking for some wood crates so that I could put these mixed with my wire baskets underneath our kitchen sink and bathroom and pantry. This one's 28. It's actually not that big, but it is pretty. Okay, wow, I found another like tool chest. Have I seen this one before? Okay, I don't see a price. Oh, this is pretty. Oh no, how much is this one? See, I feel like this is the problem too. Once you start, once you find the thing that you're looking for, you it's almost like you find them all over the place after that. I have no idea how much it is. So maybe that's a good thing that I can't find a price tag. Let's see. Hmm, that's really beautiful though. I actually kind of like that it's flat. Mine kind of, the new one that I got is kind of angle that's on some feet. Ooh, look at this little box. Okay, look at what I found. This is pretty. It's of the Notre Dame watercolor, $39. might have to go home with me. I don't love the mat, but those are things that you can easily change. But it's not like horrible either. Okay, I'm gonna think about that one, $39. We actually didn't get to go into the Notre Dame because it was right when it caught fire and it was closed when we were in Paris, so really pretty though it is now the next day and I forgot to show you guys the things that I ended up getting while I was antique shopping with you yesterday I found just a couple of things but one of the things is probably my favorite thing I have ever purchased there's a couple of things that are my favorites, but this is just something I think that I will have for a very long time. As you guys know, I've been looking for an easel and I still want vintage easels. In fact, the one at Call It New, Call It Antique was still there. I almost got it and I just was like, I really don't have room. And I know that I will find one later on. I just know it, it'll be okay. It's okay to pass it up. As I was shopping at Antique Trove, I found this picture here of, I think it's St. Mark's Cathedral. This is in Venice. I showed you guys this in the shop with me, but I did end up getting this and it's just a, it's a print, but I thought this would be so pretty. I love the browns and the aging of the paper. $2, $2. And for Arizona, that is really good. I feel like our antiques here are a bit more than other states that I've gone antique shopping in. And then I also show you guys this yesterday in the footage, but I did end up getting this print here for the kitchen. So I'm gonna hang this up in, in the kitchen and I thought this was a nice little print to have as a placeholder until I oil paint. And as you guys know, I've been having a really hard time finding little frames. I got a couple while I was out yesterday, but I am trying to find vintage frames so that I can oil paint. And I really wanted the mini ones because I wanted to be able to have a mini drop. So I have a couple of those and then I'm going somewhere this weekend that hopefully I'll be able to find some more. Finding a piece that's very, very patinaed that you can tell has gone through a lot of life and has gone through a lot of hands or maybe it's gone through one person that has really worked on the piece, like my work table or my desk right now is like an old work table of some sort. And to me, having a patinaed piece like that with so much hard work that I can can feel from that piece. It tells so much more of a story than something a little bit more pristine. This is just my style, <laughs> but some of those items that are a little bit in perfect condition and super pristine has a little bit more of a predictable story, but something that is a little bit more patinaed, banged up, that is a little bit more roughed up a little bit, I feel like has so much more story behind it, maybe some hardships, maybe some really hard work. It makes me want to know the person 
or the people that have owned these items. It makes me want to sit down and learn their names and do they have children? What were their dream vacations? Like things like that. It just takes me to that place with those pieces that the other pieces don't, which maybe that's the way some people are with those pieces. That's just what those patinaed old wood items do for me because I feel like wood really shows its age. You know what I mean? So does some like very old china but wood just like utilitarian type items like dough bowls and wood tables and things like that just oh my gosh it just makes my mind crazy anyway i had this just like epiphany of why these items draw me in so much anyway look i found this box so I went to Brady Gray, which is not a vintage store. It's, I think it's a design store that she sells, like she has a showroom as well is what I think it is. But she had this in there and I was like, oh my gosh, that's what I've been looking for. I freaked out and I was like, I'm buying that. And so she rang me up. I have been looking for something to put my art supplies in. I have an easel that I got off of Amazon that has worked really well, but I want it to be prettier. As you guys know, I talk about this all the time, but I want everything in my home to be beautiful and just to bring me joy and bring me happiness. So she was saying that this is an old secretary, I think is what it was called, where, look at the feet too. Are you kidding? How cute. So I was thinking, so she was saying they put all their writing supplies and whatnot in here, but I was thinking about putting all of my art supplies in here, which I'm a little bit like, I probably need to find some things to put inside of here to protect the wood, but I'm so, so excited for this. This piece, okay, a lot of my pieces I love. I hate saying that because it's like asking you what your favorite child is, right? I mean, I don't have children, but I would assume it's the same thing. You love all your pieces for different reasons, you know? Like, especially the more you start refining your style and you really get to know what really just makes your heart beat, you know what I mean? Like, that really just makes you so happy. It's really hard to truly say what's your favorite, but this is a top favorite of mine. I just absolutely love it. You can see it used to have a little lock right here, but I love that it's kind of missing the feet. Oh, it's so cute. And I was thinking in the future, you know, once I have like an art studio or something and maybe I don't use this for art, like supplies or anything like that, this could be really cool in a guest bedroom to put snacks or coffee mugs and you could put like a little um, espresso machine off to the side, just like little things like that, different purposes that you can use your items for. So when I bought this, I was thinking, okay, once I have an art studio, what else could I use this for? I want to make sure that I'm thinking of different ways to use it, but this is a piece I think I'll have for the rest of my life. I just had to show you my vision for this. So basically I, this is a little secretary is what she said that it was. And it's just so cool because you can see where the lock used to be. There's no longer a lock, but I kind of love that. I, it just like is a mystery to me. Like what happened? Who took it off? Why did they take it off? <laughs> you know? So anyway, my plan is to put all of my art supplies in here. Over here next to my desk, I have my easel, which is just not pretty over here. It's just kind of here. So my plan is to take my art supplies. Like these are some of my canvas boards and I'll just like pile them in here. I'll take all the plastic off and make them all nice and pretty and put them in here. And then I have some smaller ones that I'll put in here. And then I was thinking I need to find maybe some ceramic trays of some sort so that my oil paints don't get on the wood. You know, if it does a little bit, that's okay. It's a part of the story because that's now how this is being used. And then I was thinking about putting some of my, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, it is, this is just like makes me so happy. Or in the future, you know, if I have it open, I can use this lid up here as a way to, you know, store the paint brushes and things. So that's just kind of the vision. It, it literally makes me so happy. I just want to scream right now. It just is so pretty. And then, like I said, if in the future I have like a big old art room or something and I want to use this for something else, I can see it used in a guest bedroom to put some snacks in or even coffee mugs. Maybe I could put some like Nespresso pods. I don't know. I'm just thinking different items in here just to use it and, and move it from room to room and place to place. So that's just kind of the vision that I have but for right now 
because I don't have a ton of art supplies, I feel like it's the perfect little piece for me to store my artwork and it's a really beautiful way to do so. And then look down here, look at those feet. Are you kidding me? It's so good, it's so good. Oh, isn't it crazy? Just the things that make us this happy. I just, I love it. I love it so much. I also got some frames. I don't mind the pictures. I'm taking all the pictures out. I got this one here. It's a little bit bigger than I was thinking, but I liked the frame. So I was thinking like maybe a moody oil painting in that one. And then I found these two. So I'll take these pictures out and then oil paint in these little minis. These will be a part of the mini drop. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed antique shopping with me. Let me know, have you been out antique shopping, thrift shopping, junk shopping, whatever you wanna call it? What are some of your favorite, all-time favorite antique pieces that you've purchased or just decor pieces really that just give you that feeling that you just love and it brings you joy. I wanna know, leave me your favorite purchases you've ever made down in the comments so I can read them. I think I did really good this time shopping. I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I feel like the more you start collecting your home decor and you really start to refine your style, you buy less and less, I feel. And you're just start, you start to get even more picky. And I think it's a good thing. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together.